Also, let's give a big, big shout out to my peoples from Year Philly. Give it up for Kendra and Jay. And Year Philly is one of the nonprofit organizations that we uh, 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 are going to be featuring for our 52 nonprofits in one year. And they are the first, the first, the crown jewel of this shit because they doing shit that I fuck with. Well, and why, and why, and why are you doing that? Yep. Oh, what you uh, gonna, what, and what they will be, what you gonna, oh, what's, well, what's, Year Philly is, no, I'm uh, saying with, uh, with uh, 52, what is the reason, Oh, what's the, the, the reason why we doing the 52 nonprofits because it's 52 goddamn uh, days in the, uh, 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 52 weeks in a year, rather. Thank you, Tate C, that's why. That's the only reason? Well, yeah, I mean, anything else, I, I'll be going to so, I, you know, I thought it would go, I thought it would have like a little bit, you know, some sasong on top of it or something. I ain't know that, that, I ain't know that joke was just like some regular steak thrown on top, you know what I mean? You from the Bronx, you from New York, you know the days. Yeah, right? like, you know, I'm doing 52 joints because, you know, we want to we wanna shine light on See, their work and their progress. He's 30%, 5%. No today's man. You gotta go around. This shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's 32%, 32%, 32%, 32%, 5 percent because you're from New York. So you should know today's man. That's why we be doing this type of shit. Yo, no, you make absolutely no sense. But anyway, though. Yeah. Oh, so um, with no further ado, let's give it up for uh, Kendra and James. <laughs> you feel Empowerment, advancement, hangout. What's good with y'all? What's up? We good over here. You already know. No doubt. So uh, tell them what you, uh, 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 Year Philly is all about, like in essence. You got a G in the scene. And, and thank you for bearing with us through our soft opening. Our hard open. I'm sorry. I don't want to say soft open. That don't even sound right coming from the ball. Soft opening. She likes it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Let's ask the baseball nigga. And she'll like it too. Yeah, you I don't know. Yeah, yeah, you stupid. Turn your mic down quick. Yo, we got Kendra and James from Year Philly, so uh, let's uh, find out where Year Philly is at and what does Year Philly do? So we're in West Philly. Um, our building, which is new, is at 53rd and Walton Avenue in West, right between West and Southwest. West and what we do is we support young black people, teenagers and young adults who are impacted by violence. So wherever they are in their lives, we try to support them, whether that be helping mediate issues, Helping them make sure they got groceries in their house, hiring them, giving them the skills that they need to get the lives that they want and deserve. Nice. That's definitely that's so fresh. And um, me and my boy uh, Odeem Ski went down to that joint and met all y'all fine people. Now so, how was that? Oh, my dude. It's a beautiful facility and it's some things. Lay it out. One of the things I want to talk about is the studio that's getting put together in the basement of Year Philly. Yeah. And on the website, you will be, uh, the website is uh, also uh, yearphilly.org, and you'll be able to check out some of the Philly, uh, the footage on um, phillyhiphopfoundation.org also. So tell us about what you're doing with the studio. So we already know, like, Philly, uh, it's part of the culture, specifically like our young people now. And you can't have uh, a program and reach the population of young people that's doing what they're doing out here without incorporating music. Exactly. So it's a priority. So we, we plan to build a, a full studio in our basement section um, so that we can have our young people from the hood, west and southwest. They're going to run it. They're going to manage it. They're going to make their little money how they got to make it. But most mm -hmm. importantly, we want to make sure that they're you know, they able to help produce some music 
for the culture, for the neighborhood. Um, That's dope. And, and we're going to focus on, on you know, their generation of what they do, and hopefully we connect back with you all and, and try to bridge that culture and make it make sense. Oh, yo, no, we, that's we, that, we, 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 we up in there. You know what I mean? We are definitely going to So are be you going to be teaching them, like, engineering? Y'all going to be yeah, showing so, them? So, so we got some partners, um, like one I'll just put out there, uh, Beyond the Bars. Um, they a dope partner. They already donated some of the um, some of the computers, some of the um, some of the equipment. They kind of have a you know a general base studio, um, but they also got uh, instructors that's teaching our young people how to produce, engineer, you know all that good stuff right there. But to be honest, like it's been virtual, and we gotta shift away from that shit because we ain't on that virtual stuff. So um, they buy the shift in person, and we wanna make sure we get them like locked in with that, you know, because that's they, that's that's a hustle too. Uh, mm-hmm. every, you know, they, they, I mean, sometimes like trapping and rapping is combined. So we trying to show them that your trap can be in the studio running the, however you got to run it, you know, it's and true. then you can produce your own music, make your own music. That's true. That's definitely, what else, what else is going to go, what else y'all going to be doing? So we do a lot of groups, some stuff that we have coming up, like we just, we take trips, we have a big basketball tournament coming up where every year, um, we make shirts, we have our young people make the shirts, and we dedicate, you know, the team to people who have been killed. So everybody puts the name of somebody on the back of their shirt. And when is that? So so we call it, what we call it is the, the Hillin' in the Hood tournament because we know that, like, like all these young people, they die in the past couple of years, they die in left and right, and we don't really give them a chance to really talk about it. So it's always angry, retaliate. So we just figure out we incorporate like you know like the NBA did it, but we are gonna do it like on a more like serious personal level. Like if somebody one of your folks got killed or died, however it happened, like your individual jersey gonna have his name on it or whatever his nickname is. Or if you want like long live Najee or whatever, um, and you gonna hoop for that person, um, and it's all love. Um, and we just incorporate a couple other things with it where we got. Um, I think this year we're gonna bring out we're gonna bring a, a rage room to the basketball courts where. Gonna bring a little Tahoe or something, and everybody gonna fuck it up by the anger, just to kind of have that release oh, in the yeah, midst we of playing talking basketball. About that. That's fresh. So. That's definitely that's fresh. What? You gotta let it out. You gotta let it out. You don't let it out. It's gonna be in there. It's gonna go out some other way. Uh, Somebody right. head open or something like that. And, and, we, and we just we just big on giving them a space where we not, you know, we not treat them like they in jail. Like, oh, you can't do this. Pull your pants up. Don't be angry. Don't yell. Don't cuss. We don't do that. That's not part of the culture that you is about. Yo, that is banging right there. So yeah, far, so far the, 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 the program is already sounding crazy. But that's so what 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 more? What else are, what other programs y'all got going on? We run a um, teen led food and resource bank. So every week we bring groceries, pet food, gun locks, hygiene items, and we go to different parts of the neighborhoods where we know that they're not invested in. Make sure that even though we serve young people, we want our hoods to know like we care about y'all. You know, we do a lot of things. We pay people's bills. Like it don't even matter if you live in a neighborhood and you have a bill, we pay your bill. Because we want to show people that other nonprofits and all these large places with all this money, they don't give back to our neighborhood. So we need to show young people and just society that we take care of our own. So we do that, we do a lot of peer mediation. Conflict resolution. We know all the stuff that's you know happening in the streets. It, a lot of it needs to be mediated. So we we train up young people to help resolve a lot of the stuff that's happening in the streets because that's important and they need these skills and you know how to communicate with people. How do we problem solve stuff? So you guys are gonna to have like like in, like let's say like um like anger management, workshops. emotional intelligence, yeah. things like that, like workshops of that nature workshops. to help them deal with the. Because you know in the hood, you know the first thing we do is shut down. Yeah. And it's anger or happy. Yep. That's it. Nothing in between. Nothing in between. So, yeah, we run all those workshops. And he knows. Look at this nigga. <laughs> and, and Sue right here, like, he knows he's, he's a part of it, too. And, and it's a real thing, right? Like, we don't allow young black people to express themselves. So giving them the space to be like, it's cool to feel like this, but how do we work through this and get That's to the next level it, and speaking of uh, uh, expression, because we're going to talk about more about that and about them paying bills. Speaking of uh, expression, everybody, 
uh, if you watching on the live stream or on the app, do download that joint UTM radio app. It is free, four points, eight star download for your uh, Android or iPhone. Let's check uh, uh, a quick promo on uh, Year Philly, sponsored by MJ's Hip Hop Connects and uh, Illadelph 215 Graphics. West Philly, home of dope MCs and fresh nonprofits. I sat down with Kendrick and James, creators of the nonprofit Year Philly, to find out what the deal is. This is Youth Empowerment for Advancement Hangout. Our young folks in the city call it Year Philly. We created a space for black teenagers and young adults. They can come, they can hang out go to workshops and get their needs met. This community center of the future is ill. However, it does need renovation, like the bathrooms and kitchens, recreation area, deck, and more. Mike, come do some yoga. Yeah, Philly! We do intake, we'll have counseling, so this is gonna be an office for that. Bring your therapist here, do your session here. And rock out. Have your own privacy and your own comfort of your home. When do people get shot? When do people fight? When do people get stabbed? Of course, it's like after school hours, into the evening. What programs operate during those hours? So what's the future vision of Year Philly going to like 2022 and all that? Well, building up staff, because we have a lot of young people that we serve. So definitely expanding throughout the city. This will be like food, gun locks, things that the community really need. Um, and the plan is to convert this space right here into actual grocery store. So we'll knock all this out, reframe it up, have our young people that's in there, they run it, they sell um, their own personal items. Then we get like a lot of donated food and, and things that the community eat. And if you don't have any money, still give it to the community for free. You just walk up, right now, five years old or 65 years old, you need some food, you come get it. Yeah, Philly is putting the neighbor back into the hood. And hip hop is here to help. We have young people who they're in certain situations and we say yeah. West Philly, home of dope MCs and fresh nonprofits. I sat down with Kendra and James, creators of the nonprofit Yeah Philly, to find out what they did. Yeah, now that was Yeah Philly. Promo joint was fresh, right? So I would like to know about that cooking shit because you know, we like to eat. How are you going to be doing the kitchens and what do you need to get that up and running? We are very interested in that. And we are very interested in raising funds for nonprofit. That's what we do. Mm -hmm. So we got two kitchens being two. put together. Uh, one, one for the Chi Chi's, <laughs> the other joint for the real food. <laughs> Yo, James. Yo, he's a thinking, what? <laughs> if you've been in jail, go upstairs, upstairs kitchen, right? The jail kitchen. Yeah, this jail kitchen. Just stay out of jail kitchen. Yo, you should just <laughs> make it taste like just how it tastes up in there. You know, the jail kitchen, what you need is the, the, the wires, mm -hmm. the light. Oh, oh, oh. You have to have your, your, your what you call your plastic it. Plastic bag in your bin. You know what I mean? Exactly. Throw the water up in there, throw and the, throw the, the wires. Throw it right inside stinger. the joint. You gotta make a stinger for that. Yeah. Oh, they could go to CFCF for that. That's what I'm telling no, because if you show them early, they don't they ain't gonna do it. They ain't gonna wanna do, do it. Yeah. Yeah, they ain't gonna wanna do it. You tell them at least once once or twice y'all gotta go in there and make Something the with kids a stinger. Are smarter They're going to be like, nah, I don't want to do that. They're they be like, cooking, though. Yeah, the kids are smarter now. They see that and be like, nah, I ain't with that old head. <laughs> yeah. Nah, I ain't with they that. They be cooking. I won't talk about the time somebody had us eating raw chicken when they was oh. frying it. But, you know, it's a space to teach them how hey, to When you was frying somebody was frying chicken and they made raw. It, 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 it wasn't it was fried all the way through. Yo, yeah, because it's not that. Because what it is is that, you, I, you know, I'm, I'm a chef. By, by trade, he also did it as well. So to hear that, it's like, look, how? What you mean, how? Yeah, they eat, they eat hot right? Cheetos and, and corner store platters. You gotta like, teach them. Right. So, so that's what the kitchen is for. And then a lot of times, the people who can cook or did go to culinary school, like they're in there with them showing them what to do. So that's, that's, that's a really that's big fresh. space 
we make dinner every week. You know, each each person rotates. They want to. They come up with their menu. They have whoever they want to help cook. Yeah. And we eat together. And That's the biggest it. thing is we we able to incentivize them for cooking. Like if you like, I mean, you used to get poppy store food every day. Mm-hmm. All right, well if you cook for the group, group of like fifteen, we'll get the food. You do your thing, and then we're gonna pay you for doing it. Oh, wow, that's dope. What? So that's it's gonna make you wanna cook it, cook it to the point where, where it's so good you get to keep cooking. So this is what we doing with this. You know what I mean? Yeah, the people, y'all people out there, y'all people out there definitely gotta help this. Dude, like y'all wanna help everything else out there, but this right here is right some here, real shit. And we gonna make sure of that. Because the way we do our events, you know, people gonna come anyway. So we gonna focus our events. You are gonna be the first Dear Philly is going to be our first recipient of the Lyrically Fit Foundation fundraising event that we are been putting together. So we are going to put together events to fund your projects, your programs, and everything you're doing. And these are going to be events that's ran like monthly. You dig? Like televised on, you know, UTM radio. Yeah, outside concerts, son, you with me? You with me? Can we grab some people? <laughs> yeah, I already know. So that's what we gonna be doing. You know what I mean? And I, like, I really applaud y'all for doing it because y'all in my hood. You know what I mean? Y'all in my old hood, and I was just telling my mom about y'all. Two doors, two, two blocks away. A word? Mm. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say about that. Yeah. <laughs> so, so we, our, our year Philly credits is about to be up. And Kendra and James, I appreciate y'all being here. And please stay because we gonna talk about y'all being here a lot more times. And 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 you know, bringing folks up and and bringing awareness to year Philly, because we gonna bring mad awareness. We gonna bring mad money, and we gonna uh, before um we. Go off. Let's talk about this studio because hip hop solves all problems. And y'all studio, how much you looking to raise to get this studio complete? Because this is a mission that we are definitely behind. Music, hip hop, definitely saves lives. So, so definitely total because it's, it's got to be in a basement. We got to dig out floors. It's looking about seventy five thousand. Word. And thirty five thousand being to dig out the floors because it's you know, we need more room down there. Seventy five thousand for a full studio. We we putting it together in terms of, you know, what can we do right now to even be temporary until we get it up. So I mean, we appreciate the love and appreciate being here tonight. Well, um What? Oh that oh you already know how we do it. We you know know what what I mean? Mean? We're not going to anybody's door. Yeah, we, 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 this is the mission right here. This is the mission right here. So once we get this Yeah Philly uh, uh, studio up, yeah, my dude, you know how we, we go hard. This might be the Thunder studio up in Yeah Philly. You know what I mean? So we going to go hard on this. We going to get artists involved in this. Lyrically Fit is going to be dedicated to this shit right here. You dig? Hit us up. The hip, Philly Hip Hop Foundation dot org, UTM Radio dot com, yeah, Philly dot org. It's going to be more and even more about this right here. You dig me? It is T H E. Who are you, nigga? Y'all hit the general. You know what I mean? Tasty, tasty right there. Hey, girl. Yeah, sitting down, relax. I'm not doing no fucking work. Yo, keep this. This is the two-hour show. Grand Theft Audio for your radio. We be at back after this, bitches. <laughs>